This is a great myth to dispel. So many of these YouTube workout guys are so obsessed with who's natty or not. And what these dudes don't understand, coming from the locker room in the NFL and pro sports. From the NFL to Hollywood to fatherhood, join me as I tackle my next journey in life, becoming Hollywood's next action star. Back in the DC4 gym, Got my warm up in, got some rear delts, upper back work, band pull aparts, face pulls. Um, I'm gonna be working out like a meathead, and you may see little glimpses of Derek working out like a, a true athlete, um, just to show me up a little bit. So today I'm gonna hit some um, heavy uh, bent over rows, dumbbells, because I don't have he heavy, heavy dumbbells like he has in, in my garage, so I'm just excited by it, something new. Keep yourself psychologically stimulated, you know? And then I'm kind of going to freelance on the other back movement, see how I feel, hit some arms at the end of it, get a nice little dummy pump. Let's go get it. Like giving you that we're already sore kind of feel? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just learned this is how a man does the pit shark, baby. No hands. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I'm going to um, dust off your, your 127s. I, I'm sure you haven't touched those in years, so. You, uh... You feel free? Yeah. Because the way this shoulder's felt, I see if you want to see those for a little while. <laughs> yeah. No worries. Okay. I took him for a ride yesterday on the on bench, but today we're going to see how many I can get. Bent over row, 127 pounds. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, I felt good. How many was that? Fifteen. The last few were kind of not maybe full reps, but sounded good to get fifteen in my head. So, you know how it goes. Copy. Yeah. Oh, nice. Easy. Heck yeah. Stroking. That's the first time Miles didn't hurt. Yes, let's go. Thank you, Lord. Oh my gosh. That's been miserable. <laughs> Dude, I would literally get I would literally get like right here. And as soon as I went here, here, and had to yeah. that. Oh. Just a sharp I just stab. Like, nope. Yep. <laughs> I'm out. Can't even get him started. Yep. <clears throat> <clears throat> Not only is Derek my favorite quarterback, because he's the best quarterback and he's one of my best friends, but he's also a meathead. So he's about to win your heart over. Go ahead and tell him what you were just told me. So this will be year 11. This will be this right here. This will be year 11 for me. But year eight, all the way up to year eight, year nine, all the way up until last year, during the season, I was like straight bar benching. 275, 280 during the season for reps, <laughs> for reps. And finally the strength coach was like, yeah, we're done with that. <laughs> oh my gosh. You, have, you got it here first. Derek Carr's a meathead, meathead. your favorite quarterback. The goal this off season, get him so big he can't even throw the ball. No, just kidding. We're gonna keep him stretched out. He's gonna be the swollest quarterback in the league. You know, riding on 20 inch biceps. We're, yeah, it's gonna turn into the WWE. He's gonna start power slamming people. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't get him excited. He grew up on the WWE. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, like, I haven't done that in months. Yeah. You want to do it, it's like, oh, I can still do it. Well, yeah. It's true. Like, when, you, when you're gaining strength, it yeah. takes a whole lot of 
you know, really getting after it and manipulating certain things, but yeah. just maintaining yes. and maintaining size and strength. The, the working sets go from like, you know, like 10 a week to like you could get two or three really heavy sets and maintain over the long term. 100%. Yeah. That always blew my mind. I was like, there's no way you can maintain just doing that. Yeah. You do. When we first got in the weight room, we were doing 30 working sets of everything as yeah. kids that didn't know anything. Just, no idea. And then you recover like that the next day. Yeah, yeah. Good to go. You sore from that? Nah. Nice. Easy money, dude. Yes. Let's go. Bro, since the Green Bay Week. <laughs> Green Bay Week, I have not been able to dumbbell press. Really? Yeah. What week was it? Week three or four? Week, wow. Something dude. Like five, I don't know, something like that. You still had it in you? Still, got still it. had it, dude. Cool. Come on. Yeah, you were taking this for a ride, dude. Jeez. And see, and that's like, that's what I would usually do. Yeah. And I feel like I could do it. But oh, you definitely had it. I mean. I just don't. You, you had at least five more of those in you, at it's least. Still like a, yeah. Like no, there, no, yeah. I don't want to jar it. Smart. Or, yeah, you don't. No. You don't need to prove anything. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Not, not in my own gym. Yeah. <laughs> What's the quarterback's name that? Um, Went to BYU that you said is the like, fastest, strongest dude. Oh, here. Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill. Okay. What are his numbers like? You so I have witnessed over 600 pounds on the squat bar Gosh. during the season. During the season. So who knows what off season? Oh my God. It's like, and then we God have these, bless him. You know, 1080 sprint machine. Yeah. It's basically like a resisted sprint machine. Okay. It's actually that bad boy, right there. Buckle up. He'll crank that thing all the way up. And it looks like he's running 4-4 on that thing. Gosh. And then you go put the thing on. It's like, oh, you can't even move. But that's crazy. Dude's what, a freak. What, do you know what he tested at? What, was he a 4-4 guy? Or was he I, I think it was, it might have been. It's 4-4-4-3. Yeah. Because I know when he got to the league, like the, the, what's those stats, the next-gen stats, mm -hmm. he's over 20-something miles an hour. Like oh. one of the fastest guys running down. You said he's like top three, top five on your team. Speed oh, easily. Yeah. yeah. And the strongest dude. He's the strongest dude. More than the it's, lineman. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Taysom. I, Ta I love him. The <laughs> nicest dude, like coolest dude, great friend. Yeah. Like we sit by each other every meeting, yeah. laughing, joking. But when that ball's in his hand, bro, he sees red. It's over. Oh, it's over. It's is over. He, uh, do you know his other lifts? Is, was, is he jacking around I, bench and all that, or is he? I haven't seen like when when our lift time was. Like I never saw him like bench or anything. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure he's just yeah. the same exact. Yeah. Like how big is he? Uh, he's gotta be, gotta be two, at least two twenty five, two thirty. And it got a, about your height or, or? Yeah, he's about my height. Yeah. 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 We're about the same height. Stud. Oh, he's a stud, dude. Yeah. He's, he's, like, if, if I was in that role, yeah. he's exactly the dream, like, that I would want to do. Yeah. Like, I'm, like, I'm squatting <laughs> 700 pounds. <laughs> I'm benching 450. Yeah. Like, he's living, you know, he's living my dream. He, yeah. he's, li he's living mine, too. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's a pseudo white running back. That CMC yeah. was living my dream last night. Yeah, hey. If they would have let me play running back in high yeah. school, that you wouldn't have ever heard of CMC. No, okay. you, it would have been you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I handed the ball off to Taysom a couple times. He was back there with me. Yeah, yeah. you just felt muscle the whole time you handed it off. Yeah. He, uh, the, the force that he takes that ball, yeah. you know like he's not thinking about anything but running through somebody. Oh, you God. Know? But also, God great golfer. Him. Yeah? Great golfer. Okay, so he's not stiff. He's not stiff. No. He's a <laughs> <laughs> Watch me in a backswing. It doesn't even get back there. Who? Deuce Gruden. Coach Gruden's son. Coach Gruden's son. Bro, I'll show you videos. Want yeah. Me? He'll send me videos. Just 650. Just, just taking it for rides. Just, yeah. Just goes up easy. Just for fun. Golly. Yeah. It's like well, how, unbelievable. how tall is he? He's not the tallest guy. Yeah. So, okay. So, he's not. Oh, you know what? This is a great myth to dispel. So, okay. so many of these YouTube workout guys are so obsessed with who's natty or not. And that's like natural. Oh, okay. Are you natural? Okay. What these dudes don't understand coming from the locker room in the NFL and pro sports, we were playing with dudes that could step out of the locker room and onto a bodybuilding stage probably within a few weeks. Absolutely. I mean, Khalil Mack was a good example. Yeah. 274 and jish, jish, jish. Yes, yes. Um, single digit body fat probably when I yep. played with them. Yep, yep. And, um, and so everybody is like, if somebody gets big, oh, they're not natural because it makes them feel better. Right. We are surrounded by dudes that 
are not natural in the YouTube world, but they're natural. They haven't even heard of creatine. They don't take whey protein. They don't take a multivitamin. 100%. Guys that are on that kind of uh, supplement range, they have yeah. exhausted every resource, and then they're going. It, they're in the know. Yeah, yeah. I would say I would say 100%. Like Khalil, like when he when we went to the Raiders together, we yeah. came and joined you. Yeah. At the the dark side. Uh, you know, I remember we were in there squatting, and they're like, we're just going to test some things. So 315 on the bar, we're squatting. You know. Yeah. And they're like, just give us, give us 10, Khalil. This man does 10, and I was so bored by it yeah. that on the 10th one, he jumped, and the bar almost hit the top of the rack Get out. with 315 on his back after nine reps, after 10 reps. <laughs> and I was like, dude, this dude is insane. And Unreal. a lot of these guys, like you said, they never took anything growing up. Yeah. They didn't know what, a, what whey protein was. Yeah. Didn't know what creatine was. Yeah. Didn't know any of that stuff. No multivitamins. And that's just them. And yeah. he is the perfect... He's like a perfect example. He came and uh, had a couple guys help me move in my house. Yeah. He said, I'll come over, man. I'll help you move. I'm, I'm, I'm on the dolly, and I have the, the washer, and I'm dragging it step by step. And I feel like I feel strong. Yeah. Like, Heather, look at this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this man, Khalil, is like, don't hurt yourself, dude. He picks all of the, the machine and the dolly, picks it up, and walks it up and says, where do you need it? Get out, dude. Yeah. Craziest thing I've ever seen in my life. Get out. Out. Yeah. So you, you, you give him a month of just learning techniques? Or, yeah, I don't know why I thought it was a handshake, but <laughs> I, I'm, a, I'm one of those white guys that doesn't adapt real quick. Either it's like some of the, you oh, know, people are... you hanging. Yeah, okay. Yes, we'll do it again. Yes. Okay. And, yeah. Uh, you give him technique, though? Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah. Oh, man. The other piece of it was these guys are getting tested constantly, too. Yeah, so all the time. To take anything or even to take a supplement that's over the counter somewhere, you're vetting it because yeah. if there's something weird in there, yeah. there goes a quarter of your paycheck for the year. Done. You don't get paid and you don't get, don't get to play. Yeah. So. And you never know when that test's coming. That's right. The weed test and some of the street drags, that, that's a dummy test. If you fail on that, you a dummy. If okay. you fail that one, you know when that one's coming. You know when that one's coming. <laughs> yeah, they don't had, fail that one. They had to let you know when that's coming because a lot of these guys, <laughs> they come in smelling like it. <laughs> Who were some of the other like biggest freaks you played with or played against from like a physique perspective? I've seen pictures of that guy. I was literally thinking of him in my head. <laughs> Makes no sense, but he knocked me out this year too. Did he? Oh my gosh, hit me. I stepped up to it, right under the chin, and hit my head. Was that the one that was kind of viral? That uh, was a couple is that the one that you, you got up and you were like, you got me good, you got me good. Oh, no, 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 that was a different one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about all the times Derek got clocked. Uh, but, hey, toughest dude I've ever played with. He's played with a broken back. He's played with a, was it a neck too or no? Yep. Broken neck. Broken ribs. Heather didn't like that. Yeah. She was mad at me. And you know what is the best is, well, I can always cut this, but he's got the old school mentality. Yeah. One of the last old school guys in the NFL where it's play, with, play through anything. Don't let anybody take a play from you or a snap from you. Shoot that thing up. We're good to go. Yeah. I don't know if that's allowed to be said, so I'd cut that last, shoot that up part. Uh, uh, you don't have to cut it out. It's yeah. true. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> and it feels good to know. <laughs> and you need to know, okay? You need to That's know. Awesome. Thank yes. you, Miles. Yeah. I learned from the best. I yeah. watched you. Yeah. I watched you come in the field on Monday. Miles, you okay? Yeah. This is no joke. I remember you young guys would be looking and like kind of smiling like, is he serious? Like he's that beat up? And then I remember Latavius and Murray, we'd be like doing the workouts together and the warm-ups. Yeah. And he'd be like laughing his butt off. He'd be like, are you kidding me? I was like, dude, chill out. Dude. Yes. Shut, yeah. up, dude. Shut up. I don't want the coaches to see how beat up I am. They call me a red flag guy, no second contract. 100%. Should have just yeah. let him laugh it up because I didn't get there anyway. <laughs> yeah. Latavius still, is still playing, right? He's the oldest running back in the league. He's in Buffalo. Golly. He's in Buffalo, yeah. That a boy, Latave. Yeah, he's still going, man. Latavius. <laughs> hit 12 on the right side, get to hit 12 on the side. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> Oof. 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 Oof.
Yep. All right, I'm gonna do one more set on each side before I move to a vertical pull. I'll probably do some pull-ups. Um, I'll go to 127 again, kind of leave one rep in the tank, drop it down, maybe 30 pounds, and then rep that out, a little drop set. Landmine. Yes. Landmine. I was gonna say grenade for a second. Yeah, yeah, works. yeah. You know what I'm talking about. 127, drop set it to 95. <laughs> Shout out power block. Best adjustable dumbbells in the world. Oh. Yeah. Before I hit pull-ups, since I'm just gonna do body weight pull-ups today, I'm gonna pre-exhaust the uh, lats a little bit with some pull-throughs. Look at this. Maybe I can. Maybe I can zoom this. Look, this is what a man. That's like a fourth movement in this big superset. He's doing these big, these landmine situations, doing this crazy step up variation, and he's going outside and doing step ups. How many how many rounds of that you have? Three. Woof. Yeah. Reverse high first. Nice little finisher. Those, those uh, college mental toughness finishers. That's exactly right. As if you need it. I always thought that we had those uh, punching bags in the weight room. We had the big old heavy bags. I was like, a great finisher would just be jump up there and hold on. Hold it? <laughs> That's you were going to say do a boxing workout, which is also true, but just have to hold it. Just hold on. Yeah. And if you fall, you lose. Yeah. And I was like, nice little competition. Just mentally. I'm just not gonna fall. Yeah. You know? it's a, yeah, really. Like lifting weights really isn't hard. No. Generally, it's like you, you push until your muscle doesn't let you push anymore. There's nothing hard about that. It's the stuff where you have to add the aerobic and yeah, cardiovascular yeah. in. Yes. You did 20 gas or somebody jumps off sides, you gotta do it over again. Yeah. Like, that's tough. That's tough. That, that, I think that's the biggest part of football for conditioning is the mental side. Yes. You're just, you're just pushing that, your mental breaking point, just push it farther and farther away. Yeah. You know. David Goggins it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. There was a couple reps in there where I felt like, oh, I could have failed. 
And then all I did was focus is a really easy cue. Move the weight as fast as possible and you re recruit way more muscle fibers. I was able to get an extra couple reps out of it. And really, I should probably be doing that on, on uh, every rep, every set for the best uh, motor unit recruitment, as they would say. All right, last set of pull throughs. Mm. Yeah. Now he's out there doing lunges again. Meanwhile, I'm in here doing some meathead bodybuilding pull throughs. Again, lifting weights isn't hard. That kind of stuff, that gets hard. Yeah. I don't know. <sighs> The worst part, you're not done with it? Putting everything back. Oh, I got you. Let's no, do no, this. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah, you, you work out like that, you deserve to just let it stay up like a trophy. All right? <laughs> yeah. It is. It's, it's like smooth and slippery on the outside. There we go. Say it, say it louder for him. Yeah. This man just picked up a 100-pound plate <laughs> no, no. with Ninja Turtle fingers. He acts like he didn't do the same thing. I did See, not. this is all show. This is show <laughs> and go, okay? <laughs> what are you excited about? What's, what's uh, coming up for you? Anything. doesn't have to be football. It could be anything. Uh, what am I excited about? i got a dentist appointment coming up. Okay. You got any cavities? Uh, no. Let's better see. not. Ah. Oh, dude, you're screwed. <laughs> There's a few I, black pieces in there. I better not. Yeah. Like, I floss. One thing about me is I floss multiple times a day. Yeah. And brush my teeth a lot. Did you know that if you were stuck on an island, mm -hmm. it's more important to have floss than a toothbrush? Is it more important? Yeah, it's, you learn something new every day. You're did, welcome. Did not know that. Thank you. Yeah. Well, uh, anything else? Uh, yeah. What else, what else is going on? Uh, well, it doesn't have to be anything. You're getting some good rest. I am getting good rest. <laughs> I'm going to play some golf oh, with yeah. my kids. Yeah. Spend some time with them in the backyard. You were playing some great football with my kids yeah, we this week. Yeah, we were Having was, a great time. If you filmed that. No. No, I didn't. No. <laughs> they don't need to see me peg legging around there with some kids that are running around me. Just oh, actually obliterating my children into the, <laughs> into the house. We got through one play and I thought, oh, well, I'm going to have to dig deep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm those, winded. Those kids can run all day. All day. All day. Uh, but yeah, man. I'm tired. Got, just loving everybody. Yeah. yeah. I, I went and watched them uh, preach on Saturday night at Church LV. It was so amazing. I had to go back the next morning. He went. What was it, like six on Saturday, nine and eleven thirty on Sunday. Yeah. Just came back drained. Which anybody who's been on a stage and spoken in front of a bunch of people, they know that feeling is hard. And then he went and hosted a bunch of people for the Super Bowl at his house. Yeah. Showed up for them and gave with when he's just run, running on fumes. Right. Nothing but respect for this man. Thank you. Best brother. man I know. I love you, brother. Love you too, man. Yep. Bye, friends. Bye. Yeah. All right. Oh, nice. We, uh, <clears throat> we FaceTime each other. So. Nice. Just yeah. catch up. Just catch up. Just share life. Yeah. So I'm going to do that real quick. Yeah. Uh, but it shouldn't be like, why not? Dude, he's such a good dude. He is a great guy. Great guy. I'll see you in a second. Hi, man. Yeah. Move. <sighs> 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 Oh man, that sure is hard after those pull throughs. <sighs> Should be able to crank those out well over 10. I saw Derek doing this for neck and it fired me up. And I don't know how I didn't think of this earlier. I've been trying to find different uh, novel ways to work it because it gets dull doing the same thing all the time. Uh, I think it'd be like. <clears throat>
that is effective and a lot way easier setup than lying on my back, putting on a beanie, throwing a plate on there, doing this over and over again. Just boom, stand, lay your head on there. Doesn't quite feel uh, difficult enough. The good thing with this though is you can auto adjust. Just put your feet out a little further. The only risk I feel like I'm running here is if I give out, I'm just falling backwards. Gotta make sure you position the ball right. Oh yeah. <sighs> That's nice right there. Looking different already. Nice little neck pump. I've given my lats a little rest, so I'm gonna hit one more set of pull-ups, see if I can crank out a few more. And then I think I'll do one uh, bicep and tricep movement. Man. Failed like eight times on that set. All right. Let's see how 50 feels real quick on the, uh, I'm gonna do some hammer curls. Might just touch these, kind of feel them a couple reps and go up to 65, kind of challenge myself, see how many reps I can get. Something about being in a new environment makes me wanna, makes me just feel like I wanna go really heavy, push myself, hit a new PR. Sometimes changing your environment can do that. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Let's do it. 65s. because there's some convenient 35s down here. And I could use a little more volume on the side bells. Why not? Eesh. All 
right, since I already touched the 65, clearly took that to failure, wasn't the best form. I'm gonna drop it back down to 50, pump some extra blood in there, get some extra reps. Mas for the one times on the shoulder lateral raise. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Don't know what else to say. It was a great workout. More importantly, I got to spend time with my great buddy and uh, get after it, get in a new environment, push myself with different exercises because there's different things available. No matter what's around you, even if you just have body weight, you can get a great workout. But if you need to, change it up, get motivated, get inspired by something, and use that motivation towards making yourself better, get after it. <laughs>